guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episodes 5 and 6 of Decimated of Amnesia, so let's go ahead and get started with episode 5 in 3, 2, 1, go. Even though I can't see the subtitles because this thing is in the way, but I think she's really upset about this. Maybe. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now my thing is, let's go back to last week. Are we gonna find out what the hell that spirit was in today's episode, at least? I mean, I, I we're about to be at the halfway point of this show. So hopefully we get something. I, I'm guessing if we don't get it between five and six, preferably between seven to, I think, not 13, so seven to 12, because 13 is an OBA episode, so I get that. But still, I just, your girl wants to know so bad about this other spirit that is looking like this girl, because I'm like, mm. because why is there another girl who looks like evil? I'm just saying. And why hasn't Nia, like, sent it, you know? So, I'm just wondering, that's all. I get that. Yeah. You don't see. Well, yeah, you are the person who gets scared easily. So, yeah, why don't you go ahead and go in there? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it? I mean... <laughs> Mama away, um, to the left, baby. <laughs> it's fine with it. Yeah, I mean, y'all could have decorated last week when y'all were sleeping at the school. I mean, do you guys even have time for that? Because you like him as well. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, shit. Are y'all lost? You're lost, aren't you? Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, 
The sexual tension. I can't, but I love it so much. Mm, it seems like it. So. Mm, you never know. No. Well, I think everything from the old school is probably dangerous, but, you know, we going in there anyway, right? What? What's up? It's like when you're trying to go into the kitchen to go get some meat and then make a sound and it wakes up the whole damn house. Oh, that's That's fucked up. Oh, but I bet you I can see you. No more. Okay. Honey, you're pretty. Plus, I know how you feel. There are times where I don't feel like I'm pretty. I think. The hell was that? Was that a rat? Oh. Seriously? I, I don't know, but okay.
Mm, yeah, fine. These are cute together. So, what did you three talk about? <laughs> did this say something with little sisters? Oh god. I, I think I know how this is gonna go. <laughs> Little sister chapter. Mm. Oh, so oh my god! You look so cute! And especially you have a look at just like your eye! Oh, So pretty! She went so much faster than the Oni. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. So, how are you feeling? Not only tired, but... Yeah, you look exactly like her. Suits you.
You don't want to live in her shadow, possibly. But it's true, though. No. Not really. It's an interesting question. I'm glad she's asking it now. Baby girl. Oh my God. Nia. I mean, yeah. Mia. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
So then she had her, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's why it didn't have a heart. <laughs> Sure, honey. <laughs> Are you okay? I ship them. They're cute. They just work. It's just something about them. Their chemistry and everything. It's just like, mm, gotta ship them. It's so fucking adorable. But I do love the fact that this episode focused on Kine as a female and not only because this is a girl who's a tomboy. You can tell that she is. She's not the typical type of girl who likes to dress girly girly and stuff. Me, I'm a little bit of both. I'm a tomboy and I'm a girly girl. I, le I like to dress up when I need to and when I want to. And it's nice. But to see her looking different, she's pretty. I mean, I get that. There, there's a day when us as females, we all have that one day, week, month, year, where we all think that we are not pretty. Whether somebody tells us whether it's our boyfriend girlfriend mother father ourselves maybe even friends whoever telling us that we're we're beautiful but it's kind of different because you know when you look at the standards of beauty and what society has for females and then you're looking at yourself and you're comparing and stuff like that you don't feel pretty and stuff and i i think for me it was more of that was more, mm, I had a situation like that in middle school a lot. I don't have it as much as now um, as I used to, but there are days where I don't feel like I'm pretty and actually like that, even though my mom was like, yeah, you are like the prettiest thing ever. And then I'm like, oh, I don't feel like it. I feel like crap. But it was a good episode. I'm glad, you know, we got to see it in her case because there still felt like there was something that we needed or that was currently, like, just hiding out until it was just, like, her time to just finally come out and see her. Her with long hair as a wig, she's pretty. She's gorgeous, no matter what. Whether she's wearing, she's wearing a wig and has long hair, or she's wearing her very short <clears throat> natural hair. I mean, as someone, um, if it's not, like, as someone like me who likes guys, and depending on, like, your standard for guys, and then you're going into, like, um... How should I say this? Like, uh, the looks of a guy or a girl and such so and, and it's like that because she's comparing herself to Yuko and that's why she's like, I don't really feel beautiful because look at Yuko and everything that she's got, her assets. I have, I have pretty hair, but I don't have as something as pretty as Yuko, like longer hair. My skin's really pretty. And such, I don't really know what guys look into when they look at a female. I mean, you know, one day I may even ask a guy, what is your type of thing? What do you look for in a female? What do I look for in a male? I, like, personality-wise, look-wise, to me, it doesn't really matter. I don't look at looks. I look at personality. What you bring to the table. Like, whatever you're going to bring for me, is it going to change me for the good or is it going to change me for the bad? Because... You don't want to be in a relationship for a year and feel like you you look at yourself in the mirror and think of, of yourself of a year ago and you feel like you're not yourself anymore. You can get lost in a relationship and that happens in real life. And people, there are so many people who I've met who don't think that people will lose themselves in the relationship. And that is hella true. I've seen it in TV shows and in real life. Um, not really with my relationships that I've had, but sometimes it's better to have a self-love first before you get into relationships with people, whether it is the same sex or opposite sex, whatever 
you're, you know, you're attracted to. I'm just saying, but always love yourself first before you have someone else come in because just in case something happens with that relationship, you're still able to pick yourself up, whether it is by yourself or with, you know, the people who you trust, your circle, your friends, your family, whoever and stuff. Because, I mean, sometimes it's hard. And it has happened to me, not as much, but there have been times where it's hard to pick up the pieces about, like, bringing yourself up and being happy again and trying to find that self-love with yourself. But it, this was kind of Kide's episode for her and saying that I am beautiful no matter what I look like, whether I have short hair or my skin's paler than anybody else or I don't have the biggest boobs or, like, the average size chest. And stuff like that because as a female we compare everything to everyone else since day fucking one. So we're always gonna, you know, sometimes either compare and contrast or now we are being smart and we are lifting each other up. But still, even in some friend groups, depending on, I, I want to say some teenagers because my, some of my friends were like this when we were teenagers. Um, but just lower your confidence about anything that you did, whether it was the way you looked, the way you dressed whatever and it fucking sucks so yeah don't be an asshole yeah because you know karma is a bitch and when it comes around to you mm, i don't want to be a part of that shit you know i'm just saying all right but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode six okay episode six and hold on and three two one go Idle woman. Okay, this can't be you, girl. This has to be. I don't think it's the shadowy figure either, but. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. I know that voice. Is that Sarami? How you mean? I mean, best girl, my favorite actress. Oh my god. If we are literally having an anime, we're <laughs> my best girl from the original Idol Master series, Takane, and my best girl from Cinderella goes, Kaye and Takayaki are going to be together. This is. Mwah. <laughs> 10 out of 10 let's go because this isn't this wouldn't be the first time because of the fact is that sarami plays freaking um my best girl and saga time evil they're technically in an anime together you know so you get to see them all the time even though sometimes they don't really interact and you're just like mm, i want my two best girls i bet i want them to interact but if that's her oh this might be a really damn good episode. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I want to cheat and look on my phone, but then at the same time, I'm like, no, let me just watch the episode and let me listen to her voice. But I know her voice so freaking much because I've watched way too many shows with her in it because, of course, she is one of my favorite VAs, like, number one. And so how you instantly know someone by their voice and you're like, oh, yeah, that is. Let me look that up. Mm -hmm. That's got to be her. Yeah, did you think anybody else is going to come today? I don't think that. I mean, I think maybe. <laughs> That's just pretty. You know, I didn't see her full face. Her hair's pretty.
Possibly. I want to know who the fuck she is. I mean, what if the blonde haired girl is the red woman? Or maybe there's a different generation or some shit. You know, because the hair is blonde. It wasn't scary at all. <laughs> Bullshit. Exactly. Of course you learned about it. Is it weird that I feel like this rogue woman thing is going to be like a two-parter episode? Hello? Heck, I'm hungry too. I mean, I cooked something that my mom wanted last night and that I didn't want it. And I ate it last night and I ate it today. And I kind of don't want it today for dinner. And I, I might make me tacos. And well, there's that spirit that, you know, I'm wondering who the fuck that is. What? With the red woman? Oh, is somebody about to jump? No, that's just a what the fuck? I mean, we didn't hear a splat, so I don't think someone's dead. Oh. I don't like that song.
that has to be Yuko with the blonde hair spe um, blah, 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 spilling these, telling these rumors to these kids. Because one, you never really trust a man, woman, whoever with a smirk that she had. I mean, oof. Yeah, no, she doesn't sound like Sarami, so. So then you go ahead and spread lies to people? I mean, that's a little fucked up. This hell crazy. I mean, uh, fuck. I think that's why she wants to do it because, in fact, her name is Yuko and she's living kind of with that burden because people are making fun of and saying, oh, hey, well, your name is Yuko. So, you know, you might be the girl who did the shit like that for shits and giggles because, I mean, why? Why would you do it? I mean... Yeah, she spreads her news and this is lies. That's bullshit, too. Mm, of course, they're going to take her, right? Right? Because who else she going to take? Can't take a ghost. Of course. A exactly what she said. Hell, they might push her off the building.
thing really about the kill this girl. Oh, huh? I, oh, God. Mm -mm. Nope. So are you going to speak? Get the fuck out! Always one dumb girl who chip and fall. That's a prank. And we are probably never going to see her again, huh?
you you would end like that. God damn it. Who who ends mid sentence on a conversation? What the fuck? Oh my god, but they are still so cute. I love them so much. Thank God they were able to make up something to scare the students away because oh imagine if she died, blonde Yuko. I mean, that would have been a little fucked up because she is interesting. I do feel bad for her for the fact that her name is also Yuko and then the ish that she's gonna have to deal with that well no, not really. The stuff that she had to deal with for most of her life. And then she's like, yeah, because of that, I just hate ghost stories. I hate people who hate ghosts. So I'm going to try to take away, you know, as much ghost stories and make sure that they're, like, not real. That they're all fake, no matter what. But the way that she's done it is a little messed up. So I think next time, yeah, don't do shit like that. But this was a very, like, weird, interesting episode. I was not expecting it to go the way it did, but I really enjoyed it for what it was. I think if I had to choose between these two episodes that I watched, I will actually say this one. This one was more um, suspense and scary, while episode five was just sweet and just, like, comforting. Like, poor baby, like, you know how you feel. I, like, I, I get, I sympathize with you. Like, I'm so sorry, but uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to see Blonde Yuko again, maybe. I mean, we are now officially at the halfway point. Hmm? Of course. Well, what did you think it was? <laughs> That goddamn shadow we figure, you know, hopefully we figure out what the fuck that is. Because like I said, we are now officially at the halfway point of this show. And let's go ahead and focus on this shadowy maiden and finding out who the hell she is. That's all I want to know. I don't want to know anything else. I just want to know who she is. Why is she, you know kind of really attached to Kitty A? What the hell is going on with her? What is her story? That's all. That's all I need. That's it. You can tell me in like one sentence. Don't tell me. But seriously, I just want to know because she seems not only, I mean, because Yuko is mysterious as hell, but this girl, this shadowy ass figure of a maiden, it's something else. Don't know what the hell it could be, but it, it's something that I'm, I'm a little like untrustworthy about it right now because the spirit that Kitty is currently looking at right now could possibly be more of a foe rather than a friend. So, I don't know, maybe this this vengeful spirit just is like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go ahead and kill people no matter what, I don't give a fuck. But I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. We have seven episodes left, and I have no clue what in the world is going to happen in these last seven episodes, but I just want my fuck answers. That's all I want. I want answers to the things that I really need to know. I will be so happy once I get my damn answers, but just I, I heck, I would love to have them now, but because of the fact is that I'm watching this two episodes every week, and of course, I'm probably not going to be able to watch the next two episodes until Sunday, because I am busy for the rest of the week, not only with new anime coming in, but um, the situation that me and my mom have to do uh, waiting for some stuff to get here and everything, and so we're gonna be cleaning for the next few days and such, even though it's gonna be annoying as hell, and I, like, I'm a, I like cleaning, but at the same time, I don't like to clean, because sometimes, like, when you're dealing with some other, when you're dealing with another person, and when one person wants it one way, and you want another way, and the drama, and it's, mm, not the best time, and I don't feel like dealing with that bullshit, but still, this episode was really, really good, but like I said, Blonde Yuko, you shut up. Um, Blonde Yuko, we're probably not going to see her again. Maybe. If she does come back, I would say 10 to 12 or 13. Possibly, but I don't really know. We ain't really going to know until we find out. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episodes 5 and 6 of Dustman of... Uh, 
Dust Maiden of Amnesia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons. And next Monday for everybody else for episodes 7 and 8. Bye, guys.